the world's first EMI measurement method, Accelerated Time Domain Scan for Compliance Measurement. Do you have challenges during compliance measurement? Like, depending on the EUT's behavior or measurement conditions, variations can be seen in the final measurement results. You obtain different results even though you are testing the same EUT. Too much noise is picked up for compliance measurement, making it time-consuming to complete the measurements. The accelerated time domain scan on the PXE can address these challenges at compliance measurement. With the PXE, you can accurately determine the peak noise levels with just one measurement. That is because it gaplessly monitors the noise in the suspect list at all times. Let's perform the compliance measurement of the noise in the suspect list created at pre-scan and learn of the PXE's advantages. You see the differences between the Spectrum Analyzer Suite measurement and PXE's ATDS measurement. With the ATDS feature, you can continuously monitor the noise behavior in a wide bandwidth in the QP mode in the compliance measurement. This is not possible with the conventional EMI receiver mode. This allows you to obtain accurate and repeatable results. Now, let's look at the noise behavior at another frequency range. During ATDS measurement, you can see spread spectrum-like noise on the left. It continuously varies with the rotation of the turntable. You can obtain accurate results even for situations like this. With sweep measurements, this behavior is not observed. You may not even be able to see the noise, making measurements impossible. The ATDS avoids missing noise, ensuring that you obtain reliable results. Here is another example, measuring another noise in the suspect list. It is obvious in the ATDS measurement, this noise consists of several peaks. We can see the level of noise on the right is higher in QP measurements while the turntable rotates. This noise behavior is not observed in sweep measurements, which may lead you to make an incorrect conclusion. In pre-scan with the ATDS, you can reasonably narrow down the suspect list and avoid unnecessary measurements in the final measurement. This is because the QP measurement results can be checked at the same time. Let's take a look at the pre-scan results. The arrows point to the noise picked up for the suspect list. You can see that the number of noises picked up for the compliance measurement is dramatically narrowed down when using ATDS. The ATDS on the PXE can gaplessly monitor varying noise, avoiding unnecessary measurements. The ATDS aids in obtaining accurate measurements and ensures the reproducibility of compliance measurements. Thank you for watching.